Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your September reading. So we will just see whatever comes up. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. But we will see what comes up. I'm not going to take those because there was too many. Um, anyway, we'll see whatever comes up. Typically my weeklies are more focused on love. And this is just like a feeling or something like that. Um, and this reading may not be for you. Okay? It may or it may not. Mm-hmm. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Let go of control issues. Let go of control issues? Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Pisces. For the month of September. So this could, if it doesn't resonate at the beginning, you might, might need to watch it in the middle and at the end. This is being recorded on August 29th. So, you know, may not resonate right away. I've been thinking about moving you to the top of the list, but I just can't seem to do it. Mm. The Knight of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is coming up with a plan, being practical, being responsible. Taking steps, baby steps. Mm. So yeah, there's some hurt, huh? There's some hurt, there's some sadness, there's some regret, perhaps. Needing to drop that sword, that grudge. Who's it hurting? Mm, there's a third party situation. Yeah, three is a crowd. Nobody wants to deal with that shit. Uh, yeah, it feels as though, you know, somebody, maybe there was a relationship that somebody got into on a rebound, you know, to punish somebody else. Um, This is a rebound relationship, a rebound payback. Needing to, to really go within and become consciously aware. Maybe you haven't, maybe you, or maybe you will have. I think you probably have. I think that you probably have become aware of what has happened. And there is definitely some sadness, some sorrow, some regrets. Somebody is thinking about their security now there's there's a midlife crisis, some sort of midlife crisis. Maybe you went through a midlife crisis that hurt. This could be giving a chance, giving giving the person this is giving somebody another chance. Thinking about it. So you may be thinking about giving somebody another chance, but there's been a lot of freaking hurt. Definitely in your head. Somebody from the past, of course. 
Oh, this is supposed to go down here because we're not doing this spread. I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought for a minute, which doesn't happen often. But this would be the time. Uh, yeah, Six of Cups. There's somebody from the past that is really hurting bad. And, you know, there could be a Leo involved. I don't know. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn right here, the very first card. This right here is lack of courage, cowardly. I mean, the lion reverse is coward. Lack of confidence, lack of strength, lack of courage. Acting like a fool. <laughs> So this right here is, there's an opportunity for a fresh start. There is an opportunity, and this card said that as well. You know, another chance. There is an opportunity for a fresh start, a do-over, after somebody has been enlightened. A fresh start. You see what's mirroring each other with somebody from the past. A fresh start, that's what this is. A new beginning with somebody from the past. The memories of the past are haunting you. And it feels like you've been stalling. Not putting in effort, not working on it, not finding that strength, not putting any effort into reconciling. into a fresh start but it feels if you could this is positive thinking is needed there's an, an exciting new opportunity for a new beginning here it's exciting there is an exciting opportunity for a new beginning after some hurt and it, it does entail going back the wheel of fortune is going back Uh, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is going back. It's not going forward, it's going back. So I feel like this is a month of... of this is try, clinging to control, trying to, to control destiny. The Wheel of Fortune reversed is somebody is trying to control. And this is let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This person is your soulmate. But somebody's being a complete fucking fool. And, uh, you know, what can I say? Anyhow, um, this, is a, this is an energy of an easy distraction. Perhaps you were distracted by somebody and now there's a lot of hurt being passed around back and forth. I, there's definitely a new opportunity that is very passionate on the horizon, okay? And I think it's, it's, it could be definitely, I mean, with the Three of Wands reversed, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and the Six of Cups, somebody from, from your past. But let's see, let's see. I know... That somebody, you know, is unable to master their emotions. And now, the chariot card in, is a, a card of mental strength. It is. And this is a card of mental strength. Both lack of strength, lack of courage, lack of drive, lack of, lack of ambition. Somebody needs to replace that fear with faith and take a risk. The fool is take a risk. But lacking the confidence, you need to find the confidence that is lacking. Freedom, liberation. Somebody has liberated themselves from a situation that was hurtful. Somebody from the past, perhaps. Maybe you freed yourself from this person from the past. and But you're still stuck on them, huh? Oh yeah, I'm still stuck on them. Yeah, I freed myself and... It hurt. It really hurt. It still hurts. Bad. 
you're suffering and you're still hanging on even though you freed yourself even though you're feeling liberated because you know you feel like you did the right thing but you you really haven't because deep down you're suffering on the inside and you're still holding on you can't let go you're still hanging on i mean that's what this card is to whatever it is that you freed yourself from the past you see where they are at they're all right here trying to make a conscious change and maybe you have made some conscious changes during this time what is it what has it been now uh, 10 months or you've been dealing this person with this person for 10 years what is it 2018 yeah all right okay so anyway um it's like somebody has made some big changes to release something. Seeing things from a new perspective. You may be starting to see things from a new perspective. Unable to... Go down that no, new path for some reason. This is unable unable to go through that new door, unable to open the door, or unable to close the door. These are doors. There's fear of change. There's indecisiveness. There's fear of the unknown. I think that uh, right now there's a lot of disappointment. You've been delaying following your heart. This is delays. Delaying making a decision, making a choice. Oh. Oh. About a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, perhaps. Man or a woman. Okay. We're going to get the queen, the king, the page, or the knight. It's a man or a woman. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's like you freed yourself from this person, but you can't move on. Because it was stable, it was secure. So anyway, there's a, this is a, a stable, secure opportunity. You may be, this is a sudden decision as well being made. You may suddenly decide to where your happiness lies. This is a card, this is happiness. This is bliss. This is growth. This is rebirth. This is healing. What happens in the summer? Everything, every, this is the sun, which comes in the summertime. But in the summer, everything comes alive. It gets revived. It blossoms. This is an extreme happiness. And this is making a, a sudden decision about your happiness. <sighs> Removing obstacles. This is stop this is removing obstacles that have been holding you back. Stepping outside of the mental conflict, freeing yourself from, you know, the safe zone. This is safe zone as well. This is safe zone. And this is removing yourself from that safe zone to be happy. I just want to be happy. Want my happiness. But here there's again there's there's fear, there's lack of lack of faith. And this is needing to replace fear with faith. Both these cards right together. It's like, either you got the faith or you don't. What's, well, come on now. And that makes complete sense. The back and forth situation that's going on up there. Um, but there's an opportunity for victory and success. This is victory and success if you do the noble thing. So this is an opportunity to make progress if you take a risk. You do. This is take a risk. Not bring the past with you. Don't bring the past baggage. Okay, that's what I should have said. The past baggage. It's time to be confident. It's time to have courage and, and strength. Now you, could, you have, could have a choice between two options. A fire sign and an earth sign. But there's been some sort of lie. There's been some deception. And it looks like somebody wants to go back to what they left behind. You're hiding behind the wall. 
wearing a mask, wanting to go back. I keep looking at what you left. Go, go for it. Do it. It'd just kill you. Wanting to go back. Needing to find that mental strength and courage and confidence to do so. Looking at the happiness. Look at these right next to each other. He's looking. He is. I want to go back to where things were happy. And solid and stable. Anyway, there's a there's the roller coaster ride. Right? It's like things have been unbalanced. Things have been up and down. You may have been or you may be feeling a little moody, temperamental. Um, it's like there's there, but I think that somebody in this dynamic is refusing to compromise, refusing to cooperate. And now what you left behind is is gone. It's gone. It's covered up. It's gone. What you left behind is gone. Because there was no change. Nothing happened. Nothing changed. Oh. So I feel as though there's going to be some sort of rude awakening that removes somebody from your life. Look at whatever it is. It's gone now. It's covered up. It's gone. Something is going to happen that Oh Jesus girl. Oh Okay, something is going to happen that makes you see the light perhaps I mean this is oh God, this is a gamble this is like yeah we know who this one is okay uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn and it's a soulmate you're dealing with a soulmate when we had the king and queen of a sign the same sign the, you're dealing with a soulmate here and there is going to be some sort of rude awakening that perhaps makes somebody face their insecurities. This is insecurities. This person's been left out in the cold. Death. Oh. So, you know, I feel as though that Somebody has, this is uh, <laughs> reluctant to let go, holding on to something this is the rude awakening that is pushing someone to release, maybe it's this person to release because it's this it's connected to this person, this person releasing the insecurities and this is going to be a rude awakening because there's been no communication this is no communication no action being taken no forward movement yes and it's a one-sided relationship somebody isn't getting if you don't put it this is a one-sided if some Somebody isn't putting in any effort. They aren't, they aren't giving to the situation. So it appears to me that somebody is going to go through some sort of rebirth. This is a rebirth. This is a renewal. This is a healing. This is the birth of something new. There's a rejection. This is a, the six of coins is a rejection because somebody didn't communicate. 
didn't take any action. They've held on to something that was dead for a long time and it's gotten old. And now there's an opportunity for this, this root awakening is going to bring about a, root, a, a rebirth, a renewal. It could even bring a healing. So whatever happens with this root awakening, some event or situation that happens, is going to allow you a renewal of some sort. Whether it's a renewal with someone from your past or a renewal of yourself. There's going to be a gathering or something like that, okay? There's going to be a gathering or a get-together. Maybe you run into this person at a gathering. Anyway, there's an opportunity for a commitment here in the future to build a foundation. You have the power to manifest. You have the power to shed your old ways, to get whatever you want you have you have an opportunity for victory and success this month with a with a lot of happiness with this four of wands and the sun card and this rebirth now this is a taurus this is a taurus or a libra but there's going to be some sort of rude awakening goodness mm, that makes somebody step outside of their ego perhaps or somebody decides to completely walk away sever those ties son of a gun there's been no, you're dealing, there's been no communication. Whoever I'm talking about here, there's been no communication with this person. But this person is still in your, on your mind. It's still bugging you. It still hurts. And it looks like some ties are being severed, or they have been severed. Somebody is on their knees. Somebody's been brought to their knees. But you have the power. The magician takes action to bring success. But I feel like you're in no, no rush. And it feels as though you're very guarded with this situation it's like you don't know if you can trust or they don't know if they can trust there's a lot of mistrust here there's like I don't trust you I don't trust you I've been brought to my knees already the, the sword is like right in my back You win. You win. You think you won. But you do have competition. This is the competition. Yeah. And maybe, maybe you have plenty of options as well. But I can see that you're hurting. You are definitely hurting. So anyway, this is... Uh, Power struggles, conflicts, now with these fives. Major life choices, major life changes. And expect the unexpected. So, and with the tower card underneath here, some there's going to be some unexpected situation that probably puts you face to face with your past. And there's going to be some conflict with that. But fives are about divinely guided major life changes. Everything happens for a reason, right? 
There's an opportunity for a reunion. This is a reunion. A reconciliation. And there's probably going to be a get-together, like I said earlier. Now we have it twice. I think there could be some sort of get-together that... I don't know. Gives you some clarity. This is awakening. A wake-up call. And, and the tower is a wake-up call, too. You're going to get a wake-up call in regards to something that you love. This is the raw truth being offered to you, being shown to you. You're, you're going to get the clarity that you, that you have been seeking. The communication, whether it's from above, your inner guide, your, your mother that has passed away, or, or anybody. You're going to get some information in regards to where your heart lies. And there could be a revival. There could be. There could be a, the beginning of something new. Something could become alive again after a break, after a time out, after a time of contemplation, you know? That's over with. But there's a lot of worry, there's a lot of depression, there's a lot of regrets and anxiety and worry. And I think there's been a temporary breakup. There has. There's been a temporary goodbye. And maybe now eights are the time is now. Maybe the time is now to either walk away or go back. But somebody is reluctant to take action, thinking about it way too much. Somebody left something that was so close to wish fulfillment. The next is the Nine of Cups. It was like, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. They left something behind that was so close to wish fulfillment. And, but there's an opportunity to restore control because there's a strong bond. This is restore control. Take back. Face those demons. There's definitely been some lies. There's probably been a third party situation on both sides. More than one. And I feel as though there's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity to celebrate. There's an opportunity for a reunion. But somebody in this dynamic is too afraid with the strength and the chariot card to get in their vehicle and take action. Unable to master their emotions and trying to control the chariot reversed and the wheel of fortune reversed. Trying to control when it's really not you can't control your who your soulmate is. And when you try to, the wheel of fortune reversed is bad luck. When you try to control destiny, bad luck will keep kicking your ass. And you don't have to believe me. I mean, just keep trying to fight destiny and see what happens. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This person is your soulmate, and you know who I'm talking about. You do. And some of you will say, oh, no, 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 because you're trying to control. Because of pride. This is the biggest card of pride in the fucking deck. Nine of Cups reverse, throwing away wish fulfillment for pride, for pride.
reluctant to move forward. Continuing to suffer emotionally, mentally. Refusing to bring peace back to your life. Therefore, things will continue to be turbulent. But there's still an opportunity. There's an opportunity for reconciliation and with whoever it is that you're thinking about. He's thinking about somebody. And there's an opportunity for a reconciliation. Because you can't move on. You're still stuck. You're hanging on. I can see that you can't move on. And it's like this opportunity for true love is being thrown away. But there's an opportunity for it to be accepted and offered as well. However it resonates with you. This is a new opportunity. This is an opportunity for some sort of love, okay? Whether it's a new love or a reconciliation. This is the Four of Cups reverse, building that foundation back up. There's an opportunity for a new passionate beginning to relight that fire. So yes, there is an opportunity for a, a partnership here. But somebody is going to have to replace the fear with faith and take a risk. And you know who this person is. And it is somebody from your past. Whether it's somebody from this lifetime or not. There's, a, there's an opportunity for a rekindling with somebody from the past. But somebody has to let go of a grudge and stop holding on to something that is just tangible but not love. And I think that's what this is in, in many cases. Somebody in this dynamic is holding on to somebody else that is just, you know, it's just uh, out of pride, okay? It's out of pride. I'm going to hold on to this thing that I can touch, but it's not love. To escape underneath it, underneath this way under is a temperance card to escape the pain. But there's really no togetherness and there's no teamwork with whoever that person is or that situation is that you're holding on to. It's like there's they're not putting in a lot of effort and neither are you. So I feel like you have an option between two people. I think one of them's your past, one of them the person you're with now, and your past is in your mind, your past is in your heart, and you're in denial and whatever. Whatever. It's time to take that mask off. Absolutely. Seeing the truth. This is the lies being exposed. Holding on to resentment. That's what this is. Who is this new opportunity? Ooh. There's a relationship. You're turning away from happily ever after. That's what this is. Not allowing a new beginning. Not learning the lesson that needs to be learned. Refusing to see the truth, to accept the truth. Son of a bitch. It's like all the while feeling empty and incomplete because of this relationship that is no more. You have the opportunity to have happily ever after. With the cat and all.
if you would you would step over the threshold you would allow the new beginning to start this is a major new beginning you've learned something big there's an opportunity for success and happiness but you're throwing it away out of pride let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally this person is your soulmate and you know who I'm talking about and it's about time wherever it is you stop lying to yourself like I said some of you this will not resonate with you because pride is the biggest issue in the whole reading. And there's so much depression and sadness and regrets over this. But there's an opportunity to rekindle. There is. There is. I see that there is. Pisces. Wow, we got two of them. Didn't you get lucky? You did get lucky. You don't even know it. Whatever. Like I said, there's going to be a rude awakening. And once it's over, it's over. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Far away places. Get ready for new horizons. We're going to read this one first. Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul. Even if those around you don't agree, trust your instincts. And I can see pride's big here. And I think that a lot of the problem is, is you guys are worried about what everybody else is going to say. Anyway. Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul. Even if those around you don't agree, trust your instincts. Be yourself. Whatever the situation, and respond from the authentic place inside. Be starkly honest with yourself. Remember I said stop lying to yourself? Be starkly honest with yourself. Speak your truth. And that is what this card is. Okay? Live your truth. Walk your talk. <laughs> Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. What is your inner guide telling you to do? Take the pride out of it. What does your heart want? Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. You radiate the energy of truth to others so that you can find their truth. If you are facing a decision and your mind says one thing and your heart says another, I told you this was your card, follow the dictates of your heart. And you'll be on the right path. Remember I said step out of the pride. Pride is mind. Heart is love. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Follow this guidance. On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why. Others, like I said, and I've never had this card before. I know. Okay. Others are influencing your decision and that is a sad, sad, sad situation. On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why. You can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. I gotta take a drink. <clears throat> There's a place inside of yourself that always knows the truth. Take time to be still to discover the genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. If there's an area of your life in which you're not being authentic, which you're not, I know it and you know it. Or where you're not in integrity with your values, this is the time to make some changes before it's too late. <coughs> Follow the 
far away places. Get ready for new horizons. But that damn pride is... It's a life lesson you need to learn to step out of your pride with that world card. But whatever. You will continue to struggle until you do. And if you don't believe me, keep, keep not listening. Fire away places. Get ready for new horizons. Stop playing it safe. Get ready for new horizons and change in your life. A journey is coming. It might be to foreign lands or faraway places or maybe an inner shift that changes your destiny. It's all beneficial. Beneficial. Someone, sometimes we can feel wobbled when we are not in our normal surroundings. However, you are safe and protected. Good fortune ensues. Part of the glory of travel is stepping out of old habits, routines, and the repetitiveness of everyday life. It can feel daunting, yet in no small way your life is, is yet in no small way your life is a spiritual voyage. Change is coming. Things are not as they seem. There are no wrong turns. Every adventure and misadventure is part of the course. It does. It teaches everybody something. You are on a pilgr pilgrimage of the soul. Keep your metaphorical bag packed. Something unexpected, some unexpected experiences are ahead. Be ready for anything. The joy of travel is that you can begin to experience the everyday as if you are seeing it for the first time. Nothing should be taken for granted. I hope you got your passport. I know what this is, and you do too. Whether you accept it or not is your life lesson, not mine. Talk to you later.